Hi all, it's Andy from Solar Reviews here again and this time I wanted to make a video for you about the Federal Solar Investment Tax Credit. We make this video at a time when we've had some really good news. Late last year the third COVID stimulus relief package was announced and in that was an extension of the Federal Investments uh, Tax Credit for solar and that extension means that the rate of the tax credit remains at 26% for both 2021 and 2022. Initially it was set to step down to 22% in 2021 and to go away altogether for residential systems in 2022. Fortunately now it's been extended so it remains at 26% right through to the end of 2022, which gives you almost 18 more months of the tax credit. So as I said, 26%, a significant part of your system paid for by the government. But what I'm going to do for you today is answer the common questions people have about that solar tax credit. First of all, are you eligible? All American homeowners are eligible for the tax credit. The only thing you need to have to be able to claim it is a tax liability. Now some people think you have to have an additional tax liability at the end of the year after you've had tax deducted out of your wages all year um, to claim it, but that's not true. As you pay tax every fortnight or every month in your paycheck, that amount you've paid can be claimed back. So 26% of the cost of the system uh, you can claim off your uh, taxes. Probably the biggest issue with the tax credit is that unfortunately the timing of it doesn't line up when you buy the system. So the way it works is systems installed before the end of the year, you claim it on your following year's taxes. So if you install a system sometime in 2021, when you go in 2022 to do your taxes, there's a form called Form 5695, uh, which is a simple two page form uh, that you fill out and you get the money back then. However, that does create a gap. Uh, and many people ask, well, will installers wait for that 26% till I get my tax credit? And the answer typically is no, because they simply can't afford to. They can't afford to run their businesses and wait anywhere from, you know, six to 12 months to get 26% of their income. So what has happened in the industry is there's a whole range of uh, tax credit loans. So when you talk to a local solar installer, they'll typically offer you a cash price and they'll typically offer you a number of loan options, shorter term loans, longer term loans. But what they'll also usually do is offer you a loan just for the tax credit portion. So that loan is usually at a slightly higher interest rate than the loan for the balance of the system, which might be a 10 year loan, because it's a short term loan to cover the tax credit component of your, your system. The next thing we're often asked about the federal solar tax credit is what happens if you have no federal income tax liability over a year. So typically this is the case uh, perhaps with retired people that don't have income earning investments. In that case, if you're never likely to have any federal uh, tax liability, income tax liability, then you won't be able to use the credit. And that is one of the you know, few instances where you might want to consider a solar lease. We here at Solar Reviews basically hate solar leases because they create so many problems when you go to sell your house. Often the person buying your house doesn't want to take over a 20 year contract with a solar company. It's so much better to buy your system outright or to get a loan for your system such that you own it and that you get the tax credit. Because obviously there are very few people that have no federal tax liability. The, the second thing though, which is a situation that happens much more frequently, is a situation where somebody's federal tax liability in a year is less than the value of the tax credit. So let's say you've purchased a $20,000 solar system. So, you know, maybe a seven or eight kilowatt solar system and the tax credit on that is 26%, $5,200 notionally if it was a $20,000 system. So let's say you only have a liability for $3,000 worth of federal income tax that year. What you can do then is you can claim doubt the full 3000 in that year, but you can claim the rest of the federal solar tax credit in your following year's taxes. So you will get it back. You will just have to perhaps do it over two or three years, depending on, you know, 
the level of income you have and the level of uh, federal income tax liability that you have. The next thing we often get asked, and this is becoming more and more relevant, we often get asked about does the solar tax credit cover battery storage? Now if those batteries are installed with a solar system to store the power in a solar system, then yes, you get a 26% credit on your battery system and that's very very important because you know battery systems you know the standard the Tesla Powerwall runs about 7,800 plus install so it ends up being about a $10,000 system so it can bring the cost of that system installed back down to around seven and a half thousand which given you you then have backup power really does make solar batteries start to be pretty appealing I guess the other thing people often want to know is, is the solar investment tax credit the only incentive I get to go solar? Now that's a much more difficult question to answer because that entirely depends on whereabouts in the country you are. So in some states there are state tax credits, in some utility areas there are still utility rebates available on solar panels. You know, there are also various other incentive schemes in different states. These incentives exist typically on top of the federal solar tax credit but they usually one usually affects the other so let me use the example of New York with a where, they, where there's a $5,000 solar uh, state tax credit what you do then is you take the value of that credit off the cost of your system and then you claim the federal solar tax credit on the balance um, so they do affect each other in terms of the calculation um, and the final thing I wanted to say obviously about the tax credit is the amount, the absolute amount of the tax credit, we know the rate 26%, but the absolute amount of the tax credit, we have a calculator that will work that out for you on our website. So if you go to solarreviews.com solar calculator, you'll see that if you put in just your location and the amount you spent on power, last month our calculator is smart enough because it has the weather data for your area and it has the utility rates from every utility uh, around America and their net metering uh, crediting rates for solar power it's smart enough to work out how many solar panels you need it then shows you the average cost of a system of that size in your area and there from that it will show you the value of the federal solar tax credit. Solar is an excellent investment and it's one of the few times in history, and I say this in every video I make, it's one of the few times in history where average mum and dad homeowners get a chance to do something with it, which is both an excellent investment and is also good for our community and our planet. Thank you very much, have a great day.